What is going on guys, it is Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to use Discord on your Xbox console. So when your Discord is linked to your Xbox, you can join voice channels, manage voice channels that you're in, and you can also pass existing voice chats over to your Xbox. And this process does work on Series X as well as Series S. So if your Xbox console is up to date, go ahead and head up here to Settings, go down to Account, and then select the option linked social accounts. There should be an option here that says Discord. Go ahead and select link. So they want us to link our account using the Xbox app on our phone, which you're welcome to do, but in my opinion, it is easier to link it using the Discord app, which you can do using the continue on console option. So select that. It's gonna open up an edge tab here. Now, if your Microsoft account is linked and you have saved your account information, it'll just auto populate right here. If we don't have that, we can also use the QR code that is displayed on the screen. To scan that, open up the Discord app on your phone, go to your profile, and then go down to scan QR code, and then go ahead and scan it. Select yes, log me in, and you are all set to go. Back on your Xbox, it's going to let you know what is going to be accessed by your console. Luckily, we are not going to have an existential crisis. Go ahead and select Authorize, and it's going to work its magic here. It's going to connect the two accounts, allow Edge to open up the Settings application, and boom, there we go. Our Discord account has been linked. If we want to show it on our profile, we can do that. That just displays our Discord username on our Xbox profile as well. And we are all set to go. So to actually use Discord, we can go back here to the home menu. And we can join a Discord voice chat just like we would any normal Xbox voice chat. So press the Xbox button. Head over here to parties and chats. And we now have a Discord option here. So select that. It'll give us a list of all the different servers that we are a part of. So go ahead and select which one you want to join. And then it'll show all the different channels in that server. All right, once you are in the voice chat, you'll have different options here like you would if you were on the Discord application. So you can choose to have this overlaid in the corner if you want to have it on the screen at all times. You can choose to mute your mic, deafen your mic, switch to game chat, use AI noise suppression. You can also change all of the standard audio settings here on the Xbox console. Disconnect from the server, and then from the users that are in the voice chat, you can mute each individual one if you're tired of hearing one of them talk. You can also turn down the volume of each individual user as well. Now, sadly, we cannot use any of the text chat features that Discord offers, and we also cannot directly call somebody using our Xbox console. We can still pass a direct call off from another device to our Xbox console, however, and to do that, we will need to install the Xbox application. So if you do not have it already, make sure to download it from your app store and sign in with the Xbox account that is on your console and then make sure that your console is linked it'll guide you through that process on the app and then once they're all linked up you can head back to the discord application on your phone and on there you can directly call whoever it is you want to chat with and then once you two are connected you can swipe up on the quick options and then choose transfer to xbox that will open up the xbox app and then just go ahead and choose your console and select transfer voice over on your console, it'll show that you are directly connected to someone. And then just like when you are connected to a server, you can manage all these options here. So you can choose the overlay, you can mute your mic, deafen your audio, turn on noise suppression, change audio settings, and then manage the users that are in this voice chat. And then of course, once again, when you want to leave a voice chat, go ahead and select disconnect and it'll remove you from that voice chat. All right, that pretty much does it for this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like down below. If you really love my content, be sure to subscribe to support the channel. Beyond that though, I've been Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide, and be sure to have a wonderful rest of your day.